turn with me to Psalm chapter 5. The scripture here says one of my favorite statements. It says, in the morning, I will order my prayer to you and eagerly watch. This is in verse 3. The word here used for order is also used in Exodus 27, 21, where it speaks of dressing the lamps. Also, in Exodus 40, verse 4 and 23, this same word for order is used for setting a table. <laughs> and also, this word is used in Jeremiah 6, 23 and also Joel 2, 5, where it speaks of being made ready. <laughs> David says, in the morning, I will dress up the lamp. I'll trim the wick. In the morning, I will set the table. In the morning, I will prepare myself and get ready. For what? He says, in the morning, I will order my prayer to you. So he's directing himself and preparing his heart and having his whole inward disposition set on God. Then it says, and eagerly watch. The word for eager has to do with great desire. I will set up everything with great desire in my heart for you. The word that's used there for watch actually has to do with keeping your eye on something. Very simple. Keeping your eye on someone. So this verse is special to me because Psalm 5, verse 3, David tells us, In the morning I will dress up the lamp, I will set the table, I will make my heart ready for you, and I will desire eagerly, with great desire, I will keep my eyes fixed upon you. Keeping your heart set upon the Lord. This is the beauty of communion with God. And it's funny that he goes on to say, in the same verse, he says, uh, you are not a God who delights in wickedness. To me, this is defining what wickedness is in a really, in a real distinguished way. If setting your heart for God and keeping your eye set upon Him in great desire is what David's going to do. He contrasts that with the wicked, which shows me that prayerlessness is wickedness. A prayerless heart is wicked. So I pray that the Lord would strike the root of what makes men mute and spring up, O oh well, rise and ring heaven's bell. This spirit of prayer, I pray, would come upon you. Even as you're watching this video, God would strike the root of the thing that makes you mute and cause a springing up of the well that will ring heaven's bell. Also in verse 5 of the same chapter, he talks about the boastful shall not stand in your eyes. The boastful will not stand before your eyes. This hit me that pride removes us from his eye. Not that God can't see us, but there is a special seeing spoken of by Jesus in Matthew 6 verse 6 where he says, uh, when you pray, go into your secret place where your father sees you in secret. There's no presence experienced by the boastful. The boastful are unable to stand before. That's presence talk. So I'm praying that God will give us hearts inclined downward. Hearts inclined towards humility because humility remains in God's sight. Oh God, make our hearts so inclined downward that we would go to your feet constantly and live there. See, we live low and we live in His presence. Those who live in His presence live low. As Isaiah 57 says, He's a God who dwells in a high and holy place and also with those who are lowly, lowly. Then, verse 11, it says, Let all who take refuge in you be glad. This shows me that joy is the shadow of the Lord. What is joy? It is being in His shadow in his shade, taking great delight in his shelter, taking an active 
subjectivity, if you will, like choosing to come to the Lord as refuge and as strength. Those who live in joy are those who live in the shadow. And this, the shadow is chosen. And I encourage you to choose the shadow. Maybe you haven't been choosing the shadow and you feel the pressures and confusions of life. Well, I, I encourage you, as you, even as you watch this video, that God would, God would pull you, pull you in to the shadow where joy is. And it says in the last verse here that God will surround him with favor like a shield on every side favor coming upon you and that favor a shield how is favor a shield i'm not too sure but what i do know is this is that favor is wonderful and it can actually guard us so may the lord be our shield even as he favors us in every aspect of our lives so i also noticed in reading psalm 5 that every description of the wicked in this psalm is contrasted with joy Joy is the way of the righteous. Joy is being underneath the shadow of the Lord. You know, in the, the time that we're living in right now, I feel joy is so important. And it is deeply connected with how we started. In the morning, I will order my prayer to you and eagerly watch. I will set the table. I will dress up the lamp. I will be ready for you. You know, there's no person more ready for the coming of the Lord than those who make their hearts ready for the coming of the Lord. It is your experience of Him privately, the private appearings, the private experience, the, the private preparation of the heart is the greatest preparation for the day of His appearing when he will split the sky open. I tell you, when he splits the sky open and he returns, those who were already with him that morning will have the most confidence and most joy about the sky splitting. Those who have neglected the daily comings of the Lord, these are the ones who will be ashamed when he splits the sky. So again, I pray God would strike the root of what makes us mute and he would, he would cause a springing up of the well to rise and ring heaven's bells. Lord, we worship you. We praise you. Teach us to prepare our tables, to make our hearts ready. Teach us, O oh God, to dress up the lamp. Teach us, O oh God, not to be boastful, but Lord, incline our hearts downward to live in humility in, a, in, in your wonderful shadow where there is joy unspeakable and full of glory. I worship you. Praise you, Lord. Touch every viewer. Amen. God bless you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for being uh, subscribers. Thank you so much also to those of you who have become patrons. Um, we've got a bunch of new books out. I, I want to just encourage you to, to grab a hold of, of them. Um, we've got Comfort in Chaos. We've got Love Him. We've got Golden Lips of Christ. We've got Daily Trust. We've got In the Truth. Oh man, there's just so many uh, different booklets that we've put out. They're all on Amazon. I encourage you to pick them up. They're short reads, but they have deep meaning and spiritual potency for your life. Uh, so love you guys. Blessings to you.